Hello and welcome to The Exchange, brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Douglas Jonas, your host. As a reminder, today's interview is for informational purposes only. The NYC does not recommend investments or investment strategies. We are live on the floor with Julie Kane. She is the CEO of Democracy Investments. Julie, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Doug. Tell us a little bit about your ETF, the, the Democracy International Fund. So our ETF is an all-world ex-US index fund. 2,800 international equity securities in developed and emerging markets, but the difference is it's both market cap and democracy weighted. So let's go a little deeper. I know in the past you've talked about index funds. You don't necessarily like market cap weighting. That's correct. Uh, historically, market cap only takes into account company size, and they're not taking into account very important country risk attributes, such as geopolitical risk, currency risk. Are there shareholder protections? Do state interests come first, such as when Jack Ma disappeared? What, did that, what would that do to our economy if Elon Musk suddenly disappeared for three months with no explanation? So then you're working with the Economist Democracy Index. Tell us a little bit about how this functions, how this works, mm -hmm. how you kind of blend it into your ETFs. So we take what we think is one of the most robust measures of democracy in the world, the Economist Democracy Index, and we apply those country scores to a market cap index. So we're combining two indices. That results in a portfolio that tilts away from authoritarians, where governments are corrupt and control the private sector, where there's no respect for the rule of law, where there's more war, revolution, and civil unrest. By the same token, we overweight democracies. Democracies where they do care about shareholder protection and rule of law and civil liberties and free and fair elections, all the things most, most investors care about. And so why is this relevant now? Well, given everything going on in the world, shifting supply chains, uh, the trends towards deglobalization, now investors can have a safer place for their international exposure without giving anything up. Now you can lean into democracy, support democracy, and vote with your dollars, DMCY. Okay, so now for someone who's watching live and wants to learn more about DMCY, where do they go? www.democracyinvestments.com. Democracyinvestments.com, easy to remember. Now, if you caught this episode live, you're looking for additional ETF thought leadership content, you can find it all on etfcentral.com. That's our website, ETF Central, all brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange, the home of ETFs.